here one, Scott with the Scott Man. We're here to do a drive video today. We are heading north on US Highway 127. We're over here in Northwest Ohio right now. We're starting the video here at Highway 20, and we're gonna take this all the way up to I-94 near Jackson, Michigan. We got quite a ways to go still, because we have 13 miles to go till Hudson, Michigan, which is the first city we'll be coming to, and then 41 miles to Jackson. But yeah, I'd previously filmed a video on 127, but not this far south, because I did one, I think it was a couple years ago, when I, I filmed one going from I-94 all the way up to I-96 in southern Michigan. So with the exception of the course of the, the concurrency that's in north of Jackson. I'll be going all the way up to I-94. So this will cover all of the southern part of Michigan, but we're still in Ohio. Which we will be for about another maybe mile. <clears throat> but this is kind of similar to a video I did of M52 not too long ago when I went from Highway 20, but I only went up to, I think, M50. So in this video, I'll be going a little bit longer. Okay, look, looks like it's longer than a mile. But yeah, it's a nice day out today. It's a little warm and humid though, but partly cloudy out. Not sure how bumpy this is gonna be. Yeah, not too bad. out my car thermometer is reading 80 degrees Fahrenheit so compared to the Celsius it's around like 27 degrees and about another hour to like lunchtime so it's gonna be a warm one today all right and we are now about to enter the state of Michigan we are now in Michigan and we're entering Hillsdale County. And I already need a sip of water. Oh, if you make a right turn there, I me yeah, I remember Territorial, Territorial Road here. Because, yeah, when I did that video last year when I went to Morency and Waldron. What's the other city I went to? The other town I went to. That was. So I went to three towns that were very close to the border. Oh, I think it was Camden, Michigan, if I remember right. I went to three different towns that are in far southern Michigan that are very close to the Ohio border. And yeah, Territorial Road back there, if we would have made a right turn, that would take us over toward Morency. Or as a matter of fact, takes it'll take us into Morency. So it's really cool to be back out in this area again. Yep, Waldron. Make a left turn at this road that'll take us into Waldron. You know, it's really cool to check out those very small communities. Remember going to Waldron? It was really, really small. It was just homes, maybe one store, and then grain elevators. So yeah, well technically, yeah, we're in Hillsdale County, but for some of the roads I was seeing that were passing up, we're technically on the border of Hillsdale County and Lenaway County. Hillsdale County is to our left and Lenaway County is to our right. This is probably a stretch of 127 that's in the state of Michigan that has traveled the least. That is mainly because, yeah, if you're coming from the south, you're coming from just the rural areas of Ohio. I think Archbold is the closest t city or town to where we started this video. Although I think there's also a city called Fayette that might be, might be a little closer. Like if you were to take 
27 to go all the way up to where it ends on, at I-75 south of Grayling, you'll notice that traffic will get a lot busier. You might see a little bit more cars once we get up to the intersection with Highway 12 because eventually 223, which comes over from Atrian and also from the Toledo area is a more direct route compared to, let's say we would have taken the Ohio Turnpike and then taken some of the county roads to get over to 127. Like you probably will see more traffic going to the north and then especially once you get north of Jackson when you get to like the freeway portion of 127. Because for most of this video, we're just going to be on two lane highways or a two lane highway because it's not a freeway. Toward the end of the video though, this does become a freeway. So anyway, welcome to the rural areas of Southern Michigan. And yeah, you can tell it's very flat here. We're not even to the Irish Hills yet. Although we should be getting to that point in a little while. Because we'll notice a little bit of a slight change in terrain. Nothing nothing significant. It's not like driving west through the state of Colorado where you're driving through the plains and all of a sudden you see a bunch of mountains. It's nothing like nothing that vivid. of the United States. 
United States very often is because it is a long flight where it's really easy for me to go to the East Coast because to just get to, like, to New York or to Boston, it's like an hour and a half to two hour flight. And heck, I can even drive, I could drive to Delaware in a day comfortably. Well, just like when I came back from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina back in very early 20, uh, January 2020, I was able to, it's like I was able to do that in one day because I started off early that morning in Myrtle Beach right on the Atlantic Ocean and then by that evening I was back here in Michigan. So yeah, to get to the Atlantic Ocean, it is really easy to do that. For me, with the Pacific Ocean, it's a lot more difficult. Well, not difficult, just time consuming. Because if I wanted to drive to the West Coast, it would take me at least a couple days. Where I would have to spend two nights if I were to drive all the way out to San, let's say San Francisco, which is just directly at west on I-80. But for a flight, it takes like a few hours. Oh, they have a yard sale going on here and goes into downtown Hudson. It just stays just the outside. M34, though, looks like it does go into Hudson. So we got the intersection here with M34. M34 E's will take us out to Adrian. If you go west at M34, that'll take us into, Hill, into Hillsdale. We got a McDonald's and a McDonald's at this intersection. Also a Sitco. Oh, perfect timing. It just turned green. And yeah, downtown Hudson, you just make a right turn on M34. Someone going really slow on this road right now, like 
15, oh, he's, looks like he's going to the little, maybe to this yard sale, garage sale, or, yeah, okay, yep. Yeah, a lot of yard sales and garage sales to the north and the south of Hudson. It looks like another one. Definitely a nice day for him because it's not supposed to rain today. <clears throat> because yeah, there's nothing worse than having a garage, yard, rummage sale, and all of a sudden you get a, a downpour. That's gonna scare all the customers away. All right, now we got somebody going really slow here. Maybe there's another yard sale. I don't know, it's hard to say. Oh, he's turning off there. That looks like we're now truly entering Hillsdale County, because it looks like we're getting away from the county border. But yeah, I'd say this is definitely going to be one of our longer driving videos today. This is probably going to be like somewhere around 45 minutes. Just because I just don't want to break this up into two parts because it's a little bit further of a drive for me to get out to this area of Michigan compared to other parts of the state. I'm starting to see some very large wind turbine turbines out here. Yeah, I can see one way off in the distance. You can probably barely see it, if at all. I'll see a lot of them off to the left, though. You're not going to be able to really see it from or in this video or anything. Okay, yeah, I think you can start to see one up ahead. So getting back to what I was talking about, I think before we entered Hudson, so I, yeah, so it'd be my third time to California, first time to Southern California, my fourth time to the West Coast. So really looking forward to finally going. But yeah, I'm making it like a long weekend out of it, just like a, just making it like a four day weekend. Looks like they're selling some Michigan sweet corn up ahead. Although not many people, oh, not just corn, but also some other fresh produce too. Hardly anybody there though. It's like people are wanting to go to different garage and yard sales, but they're not wanting to get some fresh produce. Perfect place to sell some sweet corn just because you got all these cornfields around here. But yeah, now we're getting to a little bit more hill, hillier terrain. So this is, I'd say, more commonplace in southern Michigan. Where you still got a lot of a lot of farmland, but you got these nice rolling hills to make to make things a little bit more interesting. Anytime I get out of town. 
tell me I always go off on a tangent talk about something else we usually about something I'm seeing along the road but that's not a bad thing but yeah it's like I don't get out to the west coast very often it's like I would like to get out to Seattle and also Vancouver Vancouver being in Canada the only problem is because of how high the airline price right now flights to Seattle are insanely expensive and and Vancouver, it's like, forget it. It's like, I've seen prices, let's just say there are prices to, flights to Europe, which are cheaper than Vancouver. It's like, that's pretty crazy, I have to say. Because, yeah, it's like, I, just, I was browsing for, like, flights for, like, for Labor Day weekend for, like, Seattle, for example, and there are prices that are, like, eight to nine hundred dollars minimum if I were to fly Delta. And if I were to spend, I could spend another hundred or two hundred dollars and I could fly to Europe. That's when you know when prices are way too high <laughs> for a flight to Seattle. So I'll have to try next year. Or I fly around the holidays and and likely have, have it rain every day. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I'd love to see more of the West Coast of the United States. It's like I'd love to drive the Pacific Coast Highway going from LA going all the way up to the Bay Area. That's supposed to be one of the most scenic drives in all the United States. That'd be like the ultimate road trip. Although a it could be a pretty expensive one unless I was to drive my own car out to California. Because, yeah, with a lot of prices being high out there, it's like, it's like, yeah, if you don't want to drive your own car out there, it's like you'd be getting a rental car in. It's like you'd be paying for a rental car. Oh, now we're crossing the Lenawee County. So this road is basically wiggling across the two counties. So they have to pay for a rental car, and you'll likely have to pay a fee to drop your car off in a different city. And of course, the gas prices out in California are outrageously expensive compared to the rest of the United States. But yeah, it's like if you got the budget for it, yeah, it'd be a spectacular road trip. of Addison. So compared to Hudson, this is a much smaller community. And I've also have not been to Addison either. There's a whole lot to Addison, though. Yep, Devil's Lake Public Access. Yep, just got a dollar store here. Okay, all right, never mind. There's a little bit more. Like we're coming to, like, to the little downtown area. So unlike with Hudson, 127 does go into... So it does go into downtown Addison, which is not really a whole lot, although a little larger than Waldron, Michigan. But mainly, oh, sorry, mainly residential. And heck, there are some areas in the East Coast I need to visit too. So I still want to get out to Philadelphia. I've been to New York already, although I, I need to go back because there's still a lot more of New York I gotta see. And of course I've been to Boston many times. And of course I did a trip to New England last year. And other places too, I need to get to the Carolinas. 
well, more so North Carolina. Because I've been to, I've been to coastal South Carolina. This is back like the very end of 2019, the very beginning of 2020. And of course, see more Florida because I've only been to St. Augustine, Daytona Beach, and Orlando. Although Orlando was for, I had to do two business trips to Orlando, so I never got to really film anything in Orlando, and I've never been to any of the theme parks down there. I think we got another yard sale coming up. I don't 
think we'll have a ton of distance to go in this video just because we'll be in Jackson pretty soon. I think like another 15 minutes or so. 127 doesn't go into downtown Jackson. It bypasses it bypasses it to the north and east. And we're back in Hillsdale County again. So it's kind of funny how this highway goes back and forth between Hillsdale and Lenawee counties. a single passing lane on the stretch of 127 going south of 223 because that's not really a heavily traveled part of 127 where here we are I, I'm already seeing more traffic here than I was earlier
It's hard to say, though. There's so many places in the United States I need to see, and I have not, not even been to Alaska and Hawaii yet either. But it's like, it's like that's the thing. Like I've talked about this in other videos too. It's like, yeah, you're. It's like if you're tied down to one place because of work, to where you can't be remote. It's like you're very limited on what you can, where you can travel to. It's like you gotta plan around your vacation days and holidays. Anyway, we got some slightly slower traffic up ahead, although they're picking back up. But the good news is there's a passing lane, so if people start going slow, we can easily get around people. like another 10 minutes left in this video if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, it's like, yeah, with the exception of the past several minutes where we've been having a lot of heavier traffic, it's been a nice drive so far. Video on M50 earlier this year, and you go 
to the east on M50, that'll take you back toward the Michigan International Speedway. And then down toward Tecumseh and then to Dundee and, and it ends in Monroe, Michigan. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, they're doing a new road work project because when I was out here back in the winter, this hadn't started yet. So for the rest of this video, we'll, we will be on the freeway. Although it looks like I think we're almost out of the, the work zone.
Michigan. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, come along and join me for the adventure. And uh, don't forget to click that, that notification bell so, so uh, that we know, know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out.